gets it gets even better, guys. It gets even better. Check this out. From the Hill Hospital to stop delivering babies after 30 staffers quit over vaccine mandates. So I I think actually one of the most interesting things that we're going to watch play out in real time over these mandates is, listen, this could actually be the best thing in the world in terms of really um, creating more urgency around creating a new economy or a shadow economy for the unvaccinated, to be honest. Because listen, what's going to happen to all of these businesses when employees start quitting and they start having staffing shortages? This is the HR problem that no one has concerned themselves with. I don't understand why people aren't seeing this. If you are firing, even let's just say 25% of your staff, if you are firing 25% of your staff over their refusal to get a vaccine, that is a big effing problem. And it is a problem. It is even more of a problem in in the reality that we're in right now, in which people like, like jobs are plentiful. It is not actually that hard to find a job right now. It's not. So you're telling me that in a time where it is a job seekers market, because people are so used to being paid to stay home, it is a job seekers market, and you're going to fire 25% of your staff or possibly more over vaccine? And you don't think that's going to have consequences? Because you aren't going to be able to fill those positions. That's not how it works. And that's what this leads to. This is going to lead to staffing shortages, not only at hospitals, not only in all other walks of public life. This is going to now, because of Biden's mandates, it's going to lead to staffing shortages across a variety of different industry. And they're not going to be able to fill those roles. And I don't know, man. I think this could actually be one of the most interesting developments. Let's see how businesses handle this idea. A hospital in upstate New York will stop delivering babies later this month after 30 staffers quit in protest of the facility's COVID-19 vaccine mandate. As a reminder, check with the CDC for all vaccine-related such and such. Lewis County Healthcare System CEO, Gerald. Why? I I can't take anyone seriously named Gerald. I'm sorry. I just can't. Announced at a press conference on Friday that Lewis County General Hospital will be unable to safely staff its maternity department beginning on September 25th. The number of resignations received leaves us no choice but to pause delivering babies at Lewis County General Hospital, he said. The resignations came after the hospitals two weeks ago revised its emergency regulations requiring vaccines for employees, taking away the option for a religious exemption. Medical exemptions, however, are still permitted. The policy change followed an announcement from then New York Governor Andrew Cuomo that all healthcare workers in the state must be at least partially vaccinated against COVID-19 by September 27th. Listen, man, this is going to be a big problem because nurses, there there are already not enough nurses to begin with. And and nurses can actually make a metric F ton of money, like traveling around and working in other types of positions. It is not hard to find work if you are a nurse. I'm sorry, it's not. This is going to start to become a problem. Texas was already experiencing this. Of the 30 employees who resigned from Lewis County General Hospital, 21 work in clinical areas. He has said that 464 individuals in the Lewis County healthcare system are vaccinated, a 73% vaccination rate for its employees. So 25% of their employees aren't vaccinated. 30 of those employees have quit. And they're going to have to stop providing essential function because because they're firing perfectly capable people. Because of these stupid mandates in which they're firing perfectly capable people. Check with the CDC for all vaccine-related such and such. 
Listen to the CDC. The CDC is always right. The CDC is God. Three employees have been approved for medical exemptions. Twelve have said they plan to present a medical exemption. Adding the hospital is still waiting to review the documentation. He warned that other clinical departments in the hospital are at risk because of the number of unvaccinated individuals working in those departments. Well, you know, how much like how much greater risk is the community going to face when you are not able to provide essential services because you're firing perfectly qualified people? But it gets better. It gets better. Because in the land of rules for thee, but not for me, members of Congress and their staff are exempt from Biden's vaccine mandates. Because, obviously... President Joe Biden's, this is from Newsweek, President Joe Biden's new vaccine mandates for federal employees don't apply to members of Congress or those who work for Congress or the federal court system. Biden issued two executive orders on Thursday requiring vaccinated against, by vaccination against COVID for federal workers and contractors who work for the federal government. He also asked the Department of Labor to issue an emergency order requiring businesses with more than 100 employees to ensure their workers are vaccinated or tested on a weekly basis. However, Biden's order on federal workers applies to employees of the executive branch. The House of Representatives and the Senate belong to separate legislative branches and the courts to the uh, judicial branch of the federal government. Biden's COVID action plan path out of the pandemic. Wait, like, okay, like, side note. Didn't Biden promise us? Didn't Biden promise us that he was going to, like, have this wrapped up within 90 days of him being inaugurated? Do you guys remember that? Biden was like, 90 days. We're going to be done. Biden lied to us. I had no idea. No, he didn't lie. He had no idea what he was saying because he has dementia. Path out of the COVID pandemic, published on the White House website, makes the effect of the vaccine mandate clear. The plan says, building on the president's announcement in July to strengthen safety requirements for unvaccinated federal workers, the president has signed an executive order to take these actions a step further and require all executive branch workers to be vaccinated. The president also signed an executive order directing that this standard be extended to employees of, of contractors that do business with the government. The New York Times reported on Thursday that the executive order doesn't apply to those who work for Congress or the federal courts, citing White House officials. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi said in a press conference on April 9th, 29th, that the House couldn't require members to be vaccinated. So here is the thing. We are, we cannot require someone to be vaccinated. That's just not what we can do. It's a matter of privacy to know who is or isn't. Oh, really, Nancy? Oh, really? It's a matter of privacy, you say? Medical decisions are a matter of privacy? You don't say. I can't go to the Capitol physician and say, give me the names of people who aren't vaccinated so I can go encourage them or make it known to others to encourage them to be vaccinated. She's so we can't. We can't do that. Pelosi's office reiterated that position in a statement to Newsweek on Friday, saying the speaker's April 29th remarks were referring to the institution in which she, she serves. She's saying she cannot force members to be vaccinated, which is true, the statement said. Ah, <sighs> so rules for thee, but not for me. Listen, so here's the thing. I really hope that anyone listening to this took advantage of the pandemic while you could. Because there were so many opportunities to create a side hustle, to start something on your own. This is this more than anything else. And if you haven't yet started some sort of side hustle or some sort of business that will allow you, maybe not just yet, but in the future, to be completely self-employed, you have got to do that. I thank God every single day 
that at the start of this pandemic, I was set up with a business that I, I built I built part time while I was working full time over the course of years. And so I had my business completely set. I wasn't beholden to anyone. I didn't have to listen to anyone. I don't have to get vaccinated if I don't want to, because there's no one that's going to I'm not going to get fired if I'm not vaccinated. You should check with the CDC to make your vaccination decisions. I'm not a doctor. Don't listen to me. But if you haven't started getting yourself set up with your own business, your own side hustle, your own way to make money, you need to start now. Because, you know, did anyone see, did anyone see Dave Smith? Maybe, hang on, let me pull this up real quick. This is actually important. Did any, like, there was a great clip of Dave Smith on Twitter this morning. I tweeted it. I'm just going to pull it up real quick. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on. Hang on. Got to pull it up. I have to pull it up in Chrome because Chrome is the only place where it will let me play the audio. Okay. Let me stop share for a second. Share. We're going to watch this together because this is actually amazing. Okay. Predicate it. Check this out. And you now and you now lose your basic fundamental human freedoms because he doesn't like the decision that you made. I, I will say this. If you believe that, that your basic liberties are predicated on the consumption of a product from a giant pharmaceutical company, you are a fascist. And I mean that to everyone on the panel, everyone listening at home. <laughs> if you believe that someone does not deserve basic liberties no unless they consume a product, is. No, actually, I do. <laughs> what is Why fascism? Why don't you define it for me? Yeah, what is fascism? Define right? it. <laughs> no, we're not going to get into a definitional no, word no, here. No, no, hold on. You just told me I don't know what fascism is. Define it. means you do know what it is. Excuse so what do you me. Since, since I don't know what fascism is, can you tell me how Mussolini defined it? He defined it as a merger between corporation and state. These are not businesses deciding that they don't want customers in. This is the government it telling businesses that they have no choice. Yeah. This is discrimination under the law. And it's yes. interesting that these so-called progressives don't care that this is going to disproportionately affect minorities and immigrants. Oh, all of a sudden, that's not an issue, right? Having to show ID for voting, that's fascism, right? <laughs> but this isn't a problem. <laughs> I want to bring Chris in. We've got 30 seconds. I don't know what fascism is. Bam. Start your own side hustles, guys. When your workplace can try to force you to make medical decisions, that's when you have to get an exit strategy. No one cre can create that exit strategy that's not you. It is perfectly possible. We, we now live in an environment where it is more... It is more accessible than it has ever been to start a bit. You can make money doing almost anything. You can make money doing almost anything. I know a guy who like, you know, made, like started a window washing business because he liked to be, he used to be like in the corporate world, wore a suit and tie to work every day, uh, hated it, went out on his own, like just started washing windows on like those big, like um, the, like the big, like, Scott, like the ones where they have to rappel down the sides of the buildings. He started doing that. Eventually, he started his own business doing that. Like someone says in the chat, I should become a dog walker. Yeah, you can make money doing that. You can start a dog walking business. I used to joke with Victor all the time. I was like, I just want to start a doggy daycare. That's all I want to do. But, but we live in a reality right now where it is completely accessible to start your own business, to make money in certain ways. You're not going to be able to do it as a full-time job right off the bat. You have to work for it. You have to hustle. You have to build it up. But any person can do this. And if you haven't started doing it yet, if you haven't figured out what you want to do, then now is the time to do it. So